What's up guys, Thomas Alex Norman here. In this video, I'm gonna be talking about a key mindset shift that you need to make before you start talking on camera. I'm in a new studio today. This is the first video I've ever made in a actual studio, so I'm super excited. It is looking extraordinarily bare. There is nothing around. There's no like cool plants or like weird teal lighting setup or anything like that. Hopefully those things will be coming soon to make this look more like a comfortable <laughs> YouTube studio, whatever you want to call it. But I really wanted to take this opportunity to talk about this as my first video making here before I get into setting everything up because it is something so important that I know a lot of people struggle with and it really gets in the way of them delivering the way they want to on camera. And you might be one of these people who are quite shy, quite maybe reserved about talking on camera. You may actually be somebody who is very extroverted and confident, but when it comes to talking on camera, suddenly you're weird and awkward and looking down the lens just scares you. I completely relate to how you feel. I wouldn't actually call myself a natural talking on camera. When I started back in around 2014, I'm gonna play a video clip in a second. When I started back then, I was, I, w I wouldn't say I was nervous, I was just really awkward. I, I set up the, the camera in my garden back in my parents' house and I press record and the version of myself, the way I was expressing myself, I just couldn't even relate to it. Hi, it's Tom here, and I'm just doing my first video blog to practice my expressing myself emotionally. And uh, not really that, more actually public speaking slash appearance on camera. I was looking at it like, is that really me? Is that what I look like? Is that what I sound like? And it was quite a shock, to be honest. And I think you, if you've already done this, you may have found this. The first time you actually talk on camera and you actually express yourself on camera, it can just be like a slap in the face. You're just like, what? Is that really me? And the thing I want to talk about today is a really important mindset shift that you can make to actually get over that. The most important delivery points if you want to call it, the most important kind of physical outer things that we need to be focusing on, such as looking straight at the camera, such as maybe avoiding ums, these kind of technical things that are in the outer, outer game of talking to camera, they are really important. However, they all come from your inner place, your inner state, your mindset. They all come from that. So they are actually secondary. So the most important thing I want you to start with is making this following mindset shift, which is your authenticity is valuable. What do I mean by that? You have something to say. If you're watching this video, you most likely have something to say on camera. Whether you are an expert in a topic and you wanna to teach something, whether you have a story you wanna share, or whether you just wanna connect with people in this new world of digital, this digital era, you might even want to improve how you come across on Zoom calls because now that is getting blowing up, obviously, like everyone's having Skype calls, Zoom meetings. And even in those situations, we can find ourselves being kind of awkward. So whatever it is for, you might just find yourself being awkward when the camera turns on. And you might find that what's happening is that you're focusing so much on what you look like and what you have to say. Now this is actually a really common thing outside talking on camera. This is a really common thing in social situations as well. We can be quite anxious about what other people think about us. We can be scared of what they think about us. We, we're concerned, we care about what they think about us. And talking to camera is this kind of extended version of that because we know we're potentially putting something out there that people are gonna be able to watch again and again. It's gonna be frozen if we mess up then it's even more scary than if we just mess up talking to somebody and they, they'll probably forget about it. So this can lead us to thinking way too much about what we're talking about. We wanna say the perfect thing in the perfect way and also worrying about what we look like. And we, because we're on camera, suddenly everything needs to be perfect. There can't be a single hair out of place. We can't be doing anything weird with our voice or our hands or, or whatever that is. 
However, beneath that, you need to know that you being yourself is more valuable than any of that stuff. People really want to feel connected. Everyone wants to feel like we are connected to each other. We want to see other human beings. We don't want to see robots who are reading from a script or robots who are just very concerned and robotic because they, they're worried about what people are going to think. What we want to see is real people being their real selves. And if that means that you are quite nervous and shy talking to camera, you can kind of show that. You can even say that. You can even say, this is my first video, so I'm feeling kind of nervous. To be honest, right now, I don't know why, but being in this studio, it is actually making me slightly nervous. I don't know if you can pick that up, but I actually feel slightly nervous. I think it's because this is, I don't usually do these kind of videos with lights and this kind of setup, and because it feels somehow bigger, and I haven't done one of these kind of just talking to camera straight to the camera videos in a while, I actually feel kind of nervous doing this. And just by admitting that to yourself and by even saying that on camera, it can help you start to connect with yourself and realize that, okay, the people on the other side of this are actually expecting me to be me. What's more valuable to these people than anything that I say or any way that I look is the fact that I'm just being myself. I can tell you, and you probably already know, that your favorite YouTubers or your favorite people that you see online, more, more likely than anything, you can really see like, wow, this person is just so authentic. You can really see, and whether that authentic self is somebody really extroverted and charismatic, or whether that authentic self is something kind of introverted, somebody kind of introverted and maybe even weird, but you love them for it because you see that there's like, there's no filter there. There's no, there's no mask in the way. You're just really seeing that person for who they are. And so more than worrying about your laser eye contact looking straight down the lens or more than worrying about how you come across, more than that, you need to be connecting with yourself and just coming with the mindset shift and just tell yourself, my authenticity, just by being myself, my authenticity is valuable to my audience more than anything else. So the more you can do that, the better. And more likely than not, this is actually going to help make that shift where everything else starts to fall into place. You'll realize that, okay, maybe if I'm not looking at camera 100% of the time, because I'm being authentic, that makes that okay and makes it more natural. Maybe if I'm saying like or um a bit too much, as long as I'm being authentic, then it doesn't make that such a problem. It makes it relatable to people. And you'll often find that when you put that as a priority about being yourself, then you don't, you're not so frozen. You're not so choked up and, and worrying about what people are going to say or worrying about remembering what we're going to say next. That's the, th that's the key takeaway I wanted to leave you with today. Short and sweet. I wanted to also make this video in one take without any cuts, just to show you that it's possible and that we're not all of these YouTube people, we're not all kind of hiding behind our editing and making sure that, you know, we're saying one word at a time and, and allowing the editing to cover up all of our mistakes, which is what we do off often, a lot of the time is what we do. And so I wanted to make this video a lot more relatable and straight to the camera for you. I'd really like to know if you liked this video in the comments, leave, leave a comment to, to tell me if you kind of like this format and you want more videos like this, just talking straight to camera, one-to-one, -one, and also more information about how to talk to camera and how to really get started talking to camera as well. I just came off a 30-day a talking to camera challenge that I set up uh, in January and I invited some of my email list to join me in that challenge. And we did 30 days talking to camera every day. It was about three weeks ago now. We finished it. And it was an incredible experience for myself and from what my members told me, an incredible experience for them as well. I'm thinking about launching a more professional, polished version of that course very soon. So also let me know in the comments if you'd be interested in that. And there's also a little bonus, um, some bonus information in the description if you want to get that. Enter your email and I'll send that over to you there as well. So until next time, guys, it's been good to, it's been <laughs> messing up my final part now. It's been really good to connect and I'm looking forward to seeing you soon. Keep filming and also keep talking to camera. Till next time.
Bye-bye.